Good morning and happy Monday, everyone. I cannot believe that we are already in week five. It is going quickly. So I thought for this week, I'd do another video, trying out my Snapchat filters as I used to use these all the time for my videos with the kids in my school. I'm very grateful for if you're a Snapchat filter person and like to play around with them, they now have a timer for the video. So I'm super excited about this because I used to have to hold it down the entire time. Um, so side point, now we're on to week five. Uh, we are looking at how trauma affects specific populations. Um, there's a required reading, which is um, the first thing you're gonna look at, which is the extent and the effects of trauma and traumatic stress on specific, and stress reactions on specific uh, populations. But then there are some, supplement, some supplemental readings. And I really like the key ingredients of successful trauma-informed care implementation and also culture and trauma. I think both of those will definitely be helpful, but all of them are. Um, I have realigned your groups. So we have a group A and group B for week five now. You should be able to see that in the people section of Canvas. Um, so don't forget that you are addressing the scenario when you answer. So your scenario this week is that you have a friend who works in a correctional facility or you can consider it a youth camp or human services. They've just attended a workshop on inclusivity and they want to know how the trauma informed approach concepts could be used in their environment um, with people who identify as non-binary. So um, you have a different scenario whether you're in group A or group B. Um, but just make sure uh, that you use your resources to best address that scenario. And some of you really knocked that out of the park the last time we had a scenario. So I'm super excited to see what you do with this one. Uh, then we move on to our critical writing um, analysis. And so in this, uh, you have a choice. There are three different videos that you can pick from. You're going to pick one of them uh, to use for your critical uh, writing analysis. And do notice there are notes next to each video because um, each scenario might be sensitive to you because of any trauma you've experienced. So please make sure that you pick the video that is not going to um, have an impact on you that'll keep you from being able to write about it or will cause additional trauma for you. So please be careful which one you pick, look at what they're asking and what the note says um, so that you don't pick the one that's not gonna work for you. Um, once you pick your video and watch the whole video, you're gonna do a two page essay and you have three questions to respond to. Um, so just make sure once you've watched your video that um, you address the three questions that are um, there for you. They're in the bullets on your tasks section. So uh, you've got to talk about how the six key principles of trauma-informed approach are represented in the narrative, how are they neglected in the narrative, and then what initiatives might you suggest to diminish re-traumatization for that particular scenario. Um, and then we have a knowledge check this week uh, that you're going to do to complete your week. In the meantime, don't forget to continue to work on your final project. Uh, I know some of you were doing some of your visits this week. Uh, so I know in your outline you put some time frames for the future. So make sure you're getting those visits in uh, so that you can get some ideas about your final project. And uh, it, there is a reminder in there to begin writing your research paper um, for your project. So if you have any questions as you go, please feel free to ask. Um, oh, and I have to tell you, I'm wearing my shirt today. So for those of you that don't know, I'm on the Trauma Matters Delaware uh, board and uh, my first go at being on a board period. But if I was going to be on any board, this was the one. So I have my shirt uh, and Governor Carney's wife actually uh, was responsible for part of what you see here with the flowers and the design. So super excited about being a part of that and also a part of this class. So thanks to everyone um, who's been working so hard, getting shout outs and doing amazing work. Keep it up, uh, keep on going. And remember, I'm here to support you. Have a great week.